Hello, I'm Atsubo George and I bless God for this new week. Praise God. Now this week I have it in my spirit to share what I title Fear Not. Praise God. Now you see, what's going on around the world today is causing people to be afraid. But you are different. Now that's one thing you need to understand. Now I want you to know this, that there is nothing going on now that God is not a wealth. There is nothing going on now that God have not spoken about. Now, you know, in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2, he says, Darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness shall cover the people. Now, when he says darkness will cover the earth, now, don't imagine he's talking about physical darkness. Maybe by 12 o'clock, everywhere is going to be dark. That's not what he was talking about. He's talking about darkness of knowledge. Not us. People are going to get to that point where they are at lost as to what to do. See? And that's what's going on. When he said darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness will cover the people. Now that's what's going on right now. But you see, the story didn't end there. Now, listen. God said, when this darkness covers the earth and gross darkness covers the people, now meaning people will not even know what to do. The professionals will not know what to do. They've come to their, their wit's end. They've come to the end of their knowledge. Confused and don't know what to do. Everything they say is under probability and it might work, it might not work. Mostly, it, it doesn't work. But God said something in Isaiah chapter 6. He says, but the Lord... Let me read it to you, verse Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 2. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Now that's why in verse 1 he gives a command. He says, Arise, shine, because your light has come. Let me tell you this. When you see this darkness... Don't sit with people talking about the darkness. What you do is to realize that you are supposed to be different. How? You see, see, he said, the Lord will arise over you. He didn't say the Lord will arise over the people. The Lord, he didn't say the Lord will arise over the earth. He said the Lord will arise over you. Meaning, in the midst of that darkness, God will tell you what you should do. Do you understand that? Now, that's because of the relationship that we have with him. So, even in the midst of what is going on now, those of us that are God's children, God is telling us what to do. See, he will give instructions about your family. He will tell you what to do. He will give instructions about your church if you're a pastor of a church. You know, I, I feel sad. You know, seeing that, okay, the government is saying, look, every garden should shut down. Even churches should shut down. And then, you know, there are churches who are already shutting down. Now, they are taking precautionary measures. The government is doing the best that they can do. But you see, you need to understand something here. Even in the midst of this, as a pastor, what you are supposed to do first, no matter what the government have said, is to go before the one who sent you and ask him, Lord, what would you have us do now? It is his instruction you need to follow. Someone say, okay, so you, do you mean if God is telling you to hold, um, hold, hold, hold your service and the government says shut, shut down, you will, you will not shut down? Hey, 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 listen. The government is looking for answers. And what they need right now are people with the answers. Not people who's, who's, who's ready to do party with them. They are looking for people with the answers. So why I said, you go before the Lord and then the Lord will give you the answer. He will tell you what you need to do. He will tell you what your church needs to do even now. And let me tell you the truth. If the Lord says, hold your meeting, I can tell you, listen, you can get all the doctors and all the text, text, test kits you know, around, and they will test your members and no one, you know, they will count and no one will be found positive. I'm telling you the truth. That's if the Lord commands you to. You see, sometimes we, 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 we make this mistake of saying, no, you see, we, we are not disobedient people. 
we are not disobedient people. But you see, when, when God gives you an instruction that is against what the government is saying, I will tell you why. The reason is because he has given you the answer that will eventually help the government. So what you do is not to disobey the government. What you do is to obey God. And when you obey the Lord, he takes responsibility for your action. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I've seen this happen several. When you obey God against a law that is there, see, because there are times God will tell you to do something against a written law or against what the government have said. There are times God will tell you to do something against it. Now, not because he's telling you to go against them. He's just telling you to follow him. You remember Daniel, the, the king passed a decree. Anybody that prays will be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel went to pray. Why did Daniel go to pray? Is it because he wanted to spite the king or the law? No, that was his habit. And God didn't tell him, Daniel, stop praying. And let me tell you this truth. God is greater than the king. God is greater than the government. You need to understand this. Now, this is the time that those who really have a relationship with God should show themselves. This is not the time for religion. This is not the time to do all we are saying. No. This is the time for the people who know their God to rise up, be strong, and to do exploits. The darkness is covering the earth, but the Lord is rising upon his people. Praise God. I've got to stop here today. But listen, don't let the fear of the world get into your spirit. Reject it. Say, so what should I do? You have a God who is your father. Ask him now. Go before him and say, Father, I bring my whole family under subjection to your truth. And Lord, I listen for your instruction as to what to do even now. And let the Spirit of God begin to guide you. I'm going to continue tomorrow. Until then, have a beautiful day. And be healed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.